What's up, everybody? Welcome to the only YouTube channel on the internet, and welcome to the first official Chainsaw Man Tuesday on YouTube. And on Chainsaw Man Tuesdays, I'm just going to talk about the newest chapter that's released, potentially talk about whatever anime episode was also released on that day, although I haven't seen today's anime episode, so I'm not going to be talking about that today. I don't feel like there's a whole lot to explain here. I'm just going to talk about the chapter, so let's hop right into it. So first off, this chapter is called Aha Ha Ha Ha. It makes more sense later in the chapter, but that's quite the name to start with. So we start right off where the last chapter ended with Yuko arriving at Aja's place and the conversation is just picking up right from there. The first page of this chapter sets the tone moving forward because this entire chapter is sort of dark comedy feeling and this first page is no exception to that. Because Aja asks Yuko if she wants to eat her and she has this weird little nervous shuffle that she does and she's like, ah, dang, a little bit. I'll I'll just look away from you. There's a very strange gesture to be making right after you tell someone that you want to eat them. <laughs> Anyway, Yuko says that she's going to go find a distant relative of hers and she's saying goodbye to Aja because she thinks that potentially her distant relative who is a devil hunter could potentially change her back. I don't I don't know if that's something that's been mentioned at all in Chainsaw Man so far, but if that's like a thing that's possible, I hope that's explored in the future. Aja then does perhaps the most people-pleaser thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life, and she apologizes to Yuko because Yuko became a devil to protect her from bullies. Well, you're apologizing to your friend. You didn't ask to become a devil <laughs> who then murdered a bunch of your classmates and your teacher, you, and you're apologizing to them. Come on, Aja. What are you doing? <laughs> but Yuko says, nah, that's not true. I kind of wanted to be like Chainsaw Man. It's my own fault. And then she sort of explains that this whole time she had ulterior motives because she, everything she was doing was to try and make a friend out of Aja, which is pretty sad. And I think that that's part of the reason that Aja, you know, at first reciprocated is that they were both friendless and neither of them seemed to understand that they just wanted the same thing. And Aja's having none of it. She doesn't want to hear Yuko talking down to herself. She doesn't want to hear any of that. So she kind of like grabs her tail Te tentacle thing. I, I don't know what to call it. I also think that this part of the conversation is super interesting because Yuko says that she's hearing like other people's thoughts and it's like drowning out her own and she doesn't even know what she really thinks anymore. And her whole storyline has already been super dark, but it, that's just like, it makes it a little more disturbing that like she doesn't even really know like what she thinks anymore. But before Yuko leaves, Aja runs indoors and in a sweet callback to beginning of part two, she offers Yuko some shoes. And then they start laughing at the entire situation of just Aja returning the favor of giving the shoes back when clearly their whole lives have been turned upside down since then. And I, to me, at least this, this whole part here felt like they were sort of laughing as a coping mechanism because clearly they've been through some traumatic things, I would say. But despite all that, they still care about each other and they still share this bond, you know. They both have the same aches and pains, but they're sort of parallel in a disturbing way now. Anyway, it's the end of this chapter that I actually really want to talk about because there's an interesting couple pages in a row. So Aja leaves and she's jumping on the rooftops or whatever. And then we get this one page that shows four different faces in a row. And at first glance, it looks like they're all asleep in their own beds or they're just resting. And this is important because to me, this paneling here suggests that this is all happening parallel. This is all happening at the same time. All four of these characters have their heads resting and wherever they're at, at the same time, because the panels line up in that way to suggest that, right? But then on the next page, we see that Yuko has been fucking decapitated and her body is being held up by the silhouette of someone that looks exactly like Chainsaw Man. Is it Chainsaw Man? We don't know. Yuko herself is even asking, Chainsaw Man? With a question mark? And the reason that I think, I, I don't know what it could be. I, I don't know if there's somehow an imposter or what. Maybe it is just Denji. I, I don't know. But the paneling on the page previous makes me question it. Because I just, I, unless we're being purposely misled, that seems like Denji is still in bed. 
Maybe I'm just going full tinfoil hat here, but it feels purposeful to me that it was drawn and presented that way. I guess we'll see if I'm totally wrong about that and just grasping for straws. I don't know, but I thought that was an interesting couple pages to end the chapter on. I also think that the little square with Denji's face in it is important because it shows him sleeping with Nayuta and his dogs and everything. It's this pretty wholesome little square. And then the juxtaposition of the next page where he seemingly has decapitated and is holding up the body the, the lifeless corpse of this devil i it seems purposeful i i feel like that's got to be something anyway that's it for today's chainsaw man tuesday i will be back next week whenever the next chapter comes out unless they're on break next week i don't know but one way or another i will be back the next time a new chainsaw man chapter comes out you can also expect episodes like this for jujutsu kaisen and my hero when those come out i believe they both come out on sunday so i don't know if i'm just gonna like try and do them both on sunday or stagger them i don't, I don't know we'll figure it out and until then i hope you're happy and healthy i hope you're taking care of yourself and i'll see you next time